I'm Tony Poulos and I'm at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. I have with me today the founder and CEO of Expo, Germain Le Monde. Germain, great to see you again. Great pleasure, Tony. It's been a while and I understand Expo has been getting some tremendous success in the industry. Fill me in on what's been happening. We've been working quite extensively with all the leaders in 3G, 4G and you know, network deployment with a lot of activities to help them make the networks to perform. We brought some very unique solutions to help the full acceleration of wireless backhaul deployment, you know, DAS, RRH, and all the beautiful acronyms of the industry, but we're very active there to help them to gain productivity, enhance their, product, their processes, make sure they build the network right the first time, they minimize the cost of supporting it. We've helped them to also, in, within the, face, uh, the facing of more and more bandwidth on the network, to face all these issues this is really causing. Uh, we've helped them with new solutions from the uh, wireless uh, simulations point of view so we can generate a tremendous amount of traffic, synthetic traffic, so they can actually see how the network will behave on their you know, new devices, new applications, or combination of uh, vendor ABC into the same core network. So as this thing is exploding, every operators are facing a huge, huge uh, challenges that they never foreseen at first. With the, with the advent of LTE and uh, 4G networks, are, are there issues about network performance that are coming up? How are they validating and troubleshooting? Are you able to help them with that? Oh, absolutely. Well, wireless operators are facing three very, very uh, challenging issues. First of all is 3G LTE. LTE advance is huge complexity by itself. All aspect of this massive explosion of IP traffic and you know, the fact that now it's really going to be connected through optical fibers to the antennas and so on. So a huge amount of, tra of issue that they're facing at any given time now. What sort of problems occur when they have to expand the network at the same time? Is that also raising problems and issues for them? Absolutely. So they have to keep adding more and more antennas and each of these antennas going up in speed from uh, you know, one gig to 10 gigs. So this is a huge complexity and this is a huge de demanding task for them because they just don't want to have you know, massive teams to build and then manage the network and then repair it afterwards. So the default automation concept is very, very critical and that's an area where Expo has brought some very unique solutions for the operators. They're also handing off now to, to backhaul Ethernet, mobile backhaul Ethernet. Uh, what are the issues that are raised by doing that? <laughs> number of issues. First, you know, one of the top issues is, is this, the, the fact that they have to bring non-experts, you know, people who know RF inside out, now to be able to, to, to deal with IP, to deal with fibers and make that happen properly. So we've brought to, to the market unique solutions that can really characterize the optical fibers, the Ethernet circuit, do all the characterization from the push of a single button, removing the expertise from the mind of the, of the RF expert because we, we cannot just train them fast enough to become you know, fiber and IP experts. So that's one of the issues that they're really facing. Do the issues ever stop for the operators or do they keep coming up all the time? Well, it, they keep coming up as they grow in size, but there's also a continuation of new issues that they're really facing, just as they keep turning up additional services on the network. A, a good example, uh, we've been working with the three largest LTE operators in the world as they, they, they keep building and adding capacity, they're facing new issues that were never really expected and they could not be tested you know, in the labs. So eventually when you have a huge network with huge traffic and you start to lose calls to have performance issues in an end-to-end -end point of view, and we're very big in the business of helping them to assure an end-to-end -end quality of experience. So as they're scaling up, there's a lot of issues that they've already been finding, but how do you resolve such, such issues? Expo is very much the only game in town, the only provider of a true, complete, you know, record and analysis tool where we can capture the traffic at 10 gig line rate, multiple locations across the network, analyze all of this, do the correlation and find very tiny little problems that cause massive issues. But they're very difficult to find and Expo is the one company that can actually find these issues in the network. Jermaine, it sounds like you're in exactly the right place at the right time. Uh, I'm hoping to hear from Expo again this time next year and hear about more success. <laughs> With great pleasure, Tony. It's always a pleasure. Take care. Thank you.